pretty sure. Oh, can y'all can y'all see through the hole? A lot of Fords on the channel recently. Is there something you're not telling us? But then it's gonna be the seats after that. The seats, yeah. So I was yeah. telling you guys, Alex obviously is an upholstery shop. The seats are gonna be off the chain. I don't know who says off the chain anymore, but off the chain. And that wide bow tie. I've heard he's a pretty nice guy. There's a bee in the truck. Oh my goodness. I was about ready to give that bee some hands. What's going on today, bread gang? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day getting this bread today during the coronavirus outbreak of 2020. This is a historic moment. I hope you guys are taking full advantage. Maybe not the best moment in the world, but we'll never be able to relive this moment. So whatever positive vibes that you have going on during this time, take advantage of. We've got an awesome video planned for you guys today. We're actually filming it in two parts. We're filming the first part today, and it's all about Mag's Upholstery. You guys have heard me talk about Mag's Upholstery before with all the traffic in the background. Thank you. Freaking traffic, man. You guys have heard me talk about Mag's Upholstery before. Today is all about the inside of the truck. The, my, I think something that I need to get done to the truck. Obviously, I've been talking about it for a long time and I think this really needs to get done. Something that we're gonna start working on with the truck. We do a lot of different things on the channel, so it's kind of hard for you guys to keep up. I'm sorry, but we're jumping back into Alex's truck again. Those videos are gonna come as he does things to the truck, so I hope you guys stay tuned for those videos. Today is one of those videos, so. He has got a new mod that he's doing to the truck, and I think this is also a mod that needs to get done to the old bow tie over here that still has mud on it from the other day because I'm super lazy about washing my truck. I wanna go, I wanna show you guys real quick some of the things that Alex does. As you can tell, my truck is, like my seats are bad. My seats are really, really bad. I work in a shop all day long. I've worked at Discount Tire for a couple years before. I mean, my, my seats are bad. So one of two things is gonna happen. One, I'm either gonna get Tavis from Ice Mobile Detailing or Nifty Nichols, whoever I can get in touch with first, to come clean these seats. But that is a short-term goal. The long-term goal is to get Alex, obviously, to completely reupholster the inside of the truck. Leave your comments below what you guys think we should do. I, I'm thinking black suede headliner with the Rolls-Royce lights. I'm thinking maybe some red seats. Red seats, wouldn't you guys like to see red seats or maybe red inserts with the black outside? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think that we should put in the seat. Obviously, I'm probably gonna get the steering wheel redone. I'm pretty sure he does carpet, but we, the, the coolest part about this is we can get custom embroidery. We can get my logo that I'm having redesigned right now, put on the headrest. We can get it put on this part here. There's, there's so many different options that we can go with and I'm super excited. Leave your thoughts and your suggestions below, but we're gonna jump into the video. I do need to get him to fix this little part of my, uh, my middle console here. I got a little rip right there, but I'll, I'll get with him and I'll make another video about that later on. But today's all about Alex's truck. I know I talked about my truck because obviously my truck is, the channel's based on my truck, but today, New mod for Alex's truck, and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. So if you guys remember, this is Alex's new F-150. I wanna say it's either 2013 or 2014. I cannot remember exactly, but it is the limited version of this F-150. Beautiful black color, it is pretty dirty, just like my truck is right now, but who cares? Obviously, Alex owns an upholstery shop, so his truck needs to have a very nice interior. His upholstery needs to be top notch and we're starting that journey today now obviously he is super busy me and him are super busy always working at the shop and the other people that work at the shop so we can't just jump right into this and do it all right away but we're slowly going to piece this together and bring you guys along for the journey so today what we are going to be doing with alex we are going to be adding some green to the inside of this truck now is if, if you guys can tell alex's colors are is like a lime green that that's his colors that's his brand color so this red needs to go. Now, I love red. I love red oh so much. You guys know that, my favorite color. But this red needs to go. Obviously, he's going to do the all lime green interior. Um, wherever there's black, he's going to do the lime green stitching with it. He's going to do lime green on the door panels with some custom embroidery work. All that great stuff. Today's mission. So, we've teamed up with Marconi Graphic Designs. Yes, his name is Marconi. One of the, one of the coolest names I've ever heard of. My, is, is he Brazilian too? Yeah. So, he's Brazilian. Italian. So he's Brazilian, Brazilian, Italian, Brazilian, yeah. Italian, Brazilian, super cool. And he does, so you know, we've got guys that we work with that do the custom wraps. Well, Marconi does the custom 
like signed wraps if that makes sense he doesn't do the well obviously he does the custom wraps but he does the printed wraps which is his specialty his graphic design and the printed wraps but we got together with him and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start small with this process we're not gonna jump right into the seats like I had talked about but we are going to wrap is it lime green is that your color yeah. lime green is his color and we're gonna wrap the middle console that's what we're gonna do today now I've seen a lot of people in the truck game they do splatter paint and they do all kinds of different stuff but we're gonna keep it clean and simple and we're gonna do lime green so wish us luck we, we thought this was gonna be an easy process and it might be or it might not be but you know how my channel goes we get this bread regardless it shouldn't be that bad you should just be able to do we need a YouTube how to get this out to put it on YouTube no. <laughs> I know it comes out here. Well, it should be the same on the other side then, right? So that's our goal today. Get the middle console out. Get it wrapped green. Well, today's, the first half of the video is us going to be getting this out. We're, we're not experts. We're not specialists. We just, we like to have fun and just try things. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, wish us luck. We're, we're definitely going to need it in the middle of this coronavirus outbreak and we're messing around with trucks. <laughs> good right yeah because we get this bread that's what we do exactly no you didn't I did it'll be alright piece number one hey, ta-da that wasn't that bad no I feel like the the middle piece is gonna be a little bit worse not really no it's easy not too bad look this comes out gotta clean this out so Marconi's gonna come tonight or tomorrow before we film and he's gonna clean this all up and he's gonna wrap this and then we're gonna put it back in. I know that you know most of you guys don't want a, a how to you know tear apart your dash video and that's not what this is gonna be so I will bring get, it to me. I will yeah bring it to us we'll do it. I'm gonna skip the whole you know montage of us taking this out because that gets kind of boring. I'll see you guys when we get the rest of it taken out. Alex had to get a screwdriver let's see what he says. What'd you get? <laughs> Some too, so it can work. Oh, they're colorful. Yeah. Was it a seven? Was I right? Yeah. You could. Look at me. Wow. Act like I know something. Surprise me. We should put the truck in neutral and get it out of the way, right? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, wow. Remember when I said this was gonna be easy? Well, not not so much. <laughs> you should be able to just come right up. One. You got a Febreze stuck down in there. Now I bet this piece will. Oh, it's got two more screws up top. The last bolt. Three hours of fighting. Yeah. Probably about a good 45 minutes later. I thought this was gonna be a super simple, like these pieces are just gonna pop out and that's it. But I was definitely wrong. Ta-da! How does this, or are we missing more? No. Oh, oh, there we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Sure there's some wires back there to disconnect. Yeah. Bam, the final piece. Out. Success, how does that feel? Accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we ended up actually we took out the cup holders We took out the, the back piece To the middle console as well that sits in front of the passenger seats and we took out the dash middle dash piece as well Alex is short so, <laughs> Thank so I'm sorry <laughs> So this ended up being a lot longer process than we thought but Marconi goes to work on these beautiful pieces He's got to get them cleaned up, take apart some of the little smaller pieces, and uh, go to work. I mean, there's nothing left to do but to do it. So I'm super excited. Uh, this is definitely something that I'm going to have to do to my truck, and all of you guys at home should definitely consider doing to your trucks as well. All of yours might not be as bad to, to take apart as, as the F-150. You know, Chevys are probably a little bit simpler. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> phase one complete. Success. We got this bread today, even though it was starting to rain. Do you have anything to say? Nah, no nope. more. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. That definitely did not focus as fast as I thought it would. What's up, guys? We're back. We've got a sample of the color so you guys can see it real quick, but I'm not going to talk too much. Let's get to work.
Are you guys ready to see what it looks like? Oh, I'm so excited. So freaking excited. Look, 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 look. That looks so freaking good. Holy crap. Look, at Marconi did an absolutely awesome job on this. This looks so freaking good. The lime green pops so good with that black. Man, I'm so excited to see this in the truck. Now, obviously, the truck is still torn apart. We got to get it all put back together with the pieces that you see back there. That is my job today. I will see you guys when I am done with a full reveal. Ta-da! No, no. Sorry. <laughs> I was not ready. I was not ready. We went through this whole process, whether he was ready or not, back and forth, back and forth, and still not ready. But bam, there you guys have it, the lime green. Let me give you guys a better look. Get the lime green on the back. Super cool. Lime green on the front. Who knew that two knuckleheads, best way to put it, I guess, could actually do something to a truck, just us. Well, Marconi did the wrapping for us, but I think that turned out really freaking good. I think the green really looks good with the black. I'm super happy about that. We did it. Now, obviously, people are going to say immediately, the red does not match with the green. We understand that. Definitely, yeah. But that's going to get changed at some point, so I don't want to hear it from any of you. You at home talking about it right now. No, just stop. It looks great. Like, leave a like and a comment if you like the lime green. That's going to be his colors. We're going to have a lot more lime green. The first mod of the truck. Ugh. First mod of the truck in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Huge shout out to Marconi. Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram. Hit him up if you need anything. If you're in the Atlanta area and you guys want some wrap done. He does all the graphic design wraps as well. Like I said, he specializes in that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram by Marconi. will be linked below in the description. It's going to be right here. Actually, wait. Right there in the video. I'm learning where my tags are going to be. Right there in the video. Go follow him. Follow Mags Upholstery as well. Oh, of course. And and that wide bow tie. I've heard he's a pretty nice guy. There's a bee in the truck. Oh, my goodness. I was about ready to give that bee some hands. No. That bee was about to get some hands. Don't, don't do that with I the was... for Look. That's a for animal. <laughs> do I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, let's get this bread. Get this bread. They're going to focus on me, is it? <laughs> Hello. Freedom underscore F one fifty. Follow my man right here. We're not gonna do that today. Dude, it's pretty damn wide.